Hi, I'm Joel Bryce, Vice President of Waterfowl and Hunter Recruitment Programs for Delta Waterfowl. I hope you've had the opportunity over the past weeks to watch our new informational series of videos and podcasts detailing Delta Waterfowl's work on habitat conservation and duck production. In the coming weeks, stay tuned for future episodes on topics such as Hunter 3, research, and education. In our most recent video, Matt Chenard covered one of Delta's two main duck production programs, the Hen House. In this video, we'll take a closer look at our other key duck production program, Predator Management. As an introduction to Predator Management, I'll cover four main points. First, Predator Management is the targeted and seasonal management of local predator populations. In particular, we're talking about mid-sized predators such as striped skunk, raccoon, and red fox that are extremely effective at finding and consuming duck nests. Modern agriculture and other changes to the prairie landscape have greatly benefited these mid-sized predators. For example, raccoon are non-native to most of the prairie pothole region, but are currently one of the most dominant duck nest predators on the ground today. Second, Delta contracts with professional trappers to reduce predator numbers on assigned blocks of land from mid-March through mid-July. This time period covers the majority of the nesting season for upland nesting ducks. Decades ago, hundreds of individuals made their living through trapping, potentially keeping predator numbers in balance. While small areas are still trapped by part-time recreational trappers today, the majority of the prey pothole region is not trapped at all, leaving predator numbers unchecked. Third, Delta's trapping efforts are highly targeted to areas containing extremely high breeding duck densities yet scarce grassland nesting habitat. In regions like these, nest success, hen survival, and brood survival can be extremely low. Finally, the purpose of predator management is to increase duck production on existing grassland habitat. Predator management complements habitat investments that have already been made with duck hunter dollars, creating areas that now consistently add new ducks to the fall flight. Like all things at Delta, predator management has a solid foundation in science. Since our first research project on predator management in 1994, predator management has consistently increased hatch rates of upland nesting ducks in the prey pothole region of the U.S. and Canada. As we speak, Delta waterfowl professional trappers are managing predator numbers on 26 high breeding duck density areas of the U.S. and Canadian breeding grounds. Their ultimate purpose is to add thousands of new ducks to the fall flight in time for this upcoming duck hunting season. If you'd like to learn more about predator management, either give us a call or visit our website for more great information. Please stay tuned to Delta Waterfowl for upcoming videos and podcast episodes covering other great work conducted by the Duck Hunters Organization.